very good morning from London guys today I am at London Heathrow the terminal to the Queen's terminal and with me is a very good friend of mine came all the way from Malaysia and one of my Hi. subscribers is the Kerudin and we are here at Heathrow to pick up our delegation from Malaysia they're arriving very shortly we've got some activities to do before that so we're gonna go ahead and meet the Swiss Air um, staff and do our job and then wait for the delegates. We are right at the terminal and it's a very chilly day today. Githro is quite crowded, a lot of people around. Masks are not mandatory inside the terminal anymore. Uh, but there are a lot of tourists or people who are visiting are wearing masks here. That's the beautiful terminal to the Queen's terminal. And quite foggy, you can see far away. It's quite foggy. And that's Mr. Kerudin, the smart guy from Malaysia. <laughs> so Mr. Kerudin wants me to get an iPhone 13. iPhone 13. 13, yeah? So we are uh, we are at the Queen's Terminal and we went to departures to find out about Swiss Air. Uh, what exactly happened there, Mr. Cairo? There? I'm confused. <laughs> Again, uh, we found a shy guy on the camera. He's not really um, he's not really happy to talk on the camera. He's, look how shy he is. <laughs> but I'll tell you what happened. So. Whilst uh, we were walking to the Swiss Air counter, um, someone thought that I work for um, the airport or the airline because I've got a Concord um, pin there and they asked me to check them in and I said, uh, sir, I don't work at the airport. However, because um, he was an old gentleman, I tried helping him and checking him in and he was super happy because he had only handbags. So I just checked him in the machine, automated machine and Kerudin was witnessing all these things. But then, um, I told him, why don't you tell it on the camera? And he was super shy. But we're having a good time and we're waiting for the Turkish airline to land. So we've got our delegate and then we'll be heading to the Hard Rock Hotel in London. So I'm just at the WH Smith while waiting for a delegate from Malaysia. And um, every time I come to Heathrow, I play a lottery. Because last time when I played, I won 50 pounds. So it's a lucky place for me to play lottery. Um, so I got two tickets for lottery for tonight and for tomorrow and the lady was very kind. She said next time I see you, you should be a millionaire. So hopefully that happens. Stay tuned to find out what happens with my lottery results. And I got my lottery from W. Ed Smith here at Heathrow. So here I've got with me, you all know who is he now? Old man. He's a young guy from Malaysia, one of a very dear friend and a business associate. We're sitting at the Terminal 2 to welcome our delegates here. And how are you, sir? How are you feeling? Good, good, very good. So how's London treating you so far? London treating you so far. Superb. I am a superstar. <laughs> All the way. Yeah? That's good. That's good. Excellent. Excellent. So yesterday we went for Iraqi food. Do tell us more about that. Did you enjoy wow, the food? Oh, the kebab is so tender and right, but I could not take it one go. So I keep it half and bring it back to the apartment and enjoy it for dinner. <laughs> so yeah, you guys will have a lot of fun with me, him. Um, we are um, in Europe for the next 10 to 12 days. I will be with him. I'm not going to tell you which cities, you've got to see the vlog to find out yeah. and uh, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun and do send us um, any of your requests or requirements, we'll be more than happy to do that for you and cover a city if possible and we've got a lot of entertainment for you. Cheers. So now we are at the Queen's Way in London and we're heading to a Brazilian restaurant called Porto and I have uh, Mr. Kerudin with me.
Thank you. Just completed with the lunch, a very amazing Brazilian steakhouse, and now off to Jeremy Street to get a suit. That's the beautiful car which we're using for now. It's a Mercedes V Class and it's a very comfortable vehicle you can see inside. Very nice and comfortable leather seats. And it's good for seven passengers and the driver. So eight people can sit with along with the driver. Very nice. So after lunch, uh, we went to Jeremy Street and currently I'm on the King Street, which is a very, very beautiful street. You can see around. The reason I'm showing you this street because I found a very nice pub. It's called the Golden Lion and it's right there. I'm going to show you Golden Lion. It's a very, very unique and a very old pub based in this street. And also the Christie's Auction House, the world famous Christie's Auction House. You can see the red flag right behind me there. So they are also based on this street and I think there is an exhibition, a French exhibition going on this place um, which is called the King's Chamber. So yeah, it's a very important street and it's just off the Jeremy Street in London. This is the pub which I was talking about, it's called the Golden Lion. Very authentic English pub. And the Christie Auction House is just there. Just there you can see the red Christie's flag. Very famous auction house. And then this is an uh, exhibition in the King's Chamber. That's our car. So now we are in Soho which is the theater district and the nightlife of London. And right there is Chinatown. And you can see the Duke of Wellington is quite busy in this area. A lot of people enjoying a pint of beer and a beautiful, beautiful weather. So Mr. Kerudin, what do you think about the weather here in, today in London? Are we super lucky today? No. Why? It's hot. It's hot? <laughs> He comes from Malaysia where normally the weather is 30-35 degrees and he says it's hot in London. Today the weather would be around 16 to 18 degrees. It's now time to enter the Hard Rock London and I'm going to show you around the reception area. It's pretty nice and I really like this hotel. Hard Rock Hotel and previously it was called the Cumberland right at the Marble Arch, central London. One minute walk from Oxford Street. 